I will be simulating nine seasons from July 2014 all the way to the 23-24 season on FIFA 15. I don't know how many we can milk these off before the trend is done. Honestly, we did like, what, four? Feels like an eternity. It do really be like that. So now we get every single bit of traction on what happens. Uh, transfer offers, transfer news, Ballon d'Or winners, Champions League winners, league winners all over the top five leagues in Europe, bar France. And above all, see how the football world is when it reaches 2024. So in about, what, 10 years in game. But it's going to feel like 10 years in real life because we're going to be simulating every single one. John, how are we making success with these videos? Honestly, a child could make them. I have no clue. Maybe they don't have the patience. All the money. Haha, <laughs> Africa. But we're now going to be simulating everything on FC Michigan. Copenhagen has sacked us in the FIFA 19 video. So it's dead in my heart forever. And I'm cheating on it with every single Danish club that can afford me. I feel like my name's in improved. My creativity levels are astounding. Releasing this FIFA is a bad thing, but also considered as a good thing to me and to my own time and spare of life. This FIFA only shows the three most expensive transfers of every single window, meaning we're not going to be able to see which players of today and which players of the past will end up on most clubs around the world we're only going to be able to see the three best so if it ends up being um brother i don't know juan cancelo going to celtic or ilkay gundogan going to an mls club that was just founded about four minutes ago we're not going to have a notice because there's not going to be enough money for that deal to be showcased in the game itself. Vidal going to Manchester City is actually surprising because usually he ends up in Arsenal in this reality. Sirigu to Juventus and Jovetic for £26 million to Arsenal. FIFA 15 is stuck within reality of the 2014-15 meta of transfers. Uh, the, the world record fee is probably still going to be, I don't know, £30 million for a 24-year-old Martin Odegaard to Valencia. It'll make it look like every single club in this reality of FIFA is broke and in need of medical assistance. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> All it took uh, until it happened in 2021 was six months for Aguero to finally move to Barcelona, the place he truly belongs. So, so I'm guessing that Luis Suarez caught a heart attack or something. I think that's the world record fee. Unless Bale was a bit more expensive than that. So that's the second most expensive transfer in the whole world of football. Of all time. What the fuck is that? Bradford Jamieson. The fourth. He's American. Why isn't he called Jerome? Or Jamarcus? Bro, the MLS in 2015 was a paradise. He's the first black ginger man. Innocent Emigada. There's nothing innocent about his skin tone. I, I, mean, I mean his face. I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, Even Man City with Aguero gets them the league. Chelsea in second and Manchester United in third with one point apart from all three clubs. Imagine the final day that it would have been seen this to play out. Arsenal in fourth like they would be in every single season on that era. Everton claim seventh like they should do in every season but now they, they're fighting for allegation every single year. Swansea in ninth. Okay, yeah. Swansea, Swansea in ninth. <laughs> Relegated our Sunderland, like they should have been. Leicester, so they won't be champions next year. That, that That's sad. That's really sad. And Burnley. The teams to come up are Norwich with, oh my god, 112 points. Jesus Christ. Cardiff on 98. Yay, yay, yay. Two Welsh teams in the fuck. Then Derby, Watford, Wigan, and Birmingham to fight for the last spot. It's probably going to be Watford, but it'll be funny as shit to see Wigan in there. It happened the first time, you man. Dortmund win the Bundesliga. Yeah, we're going to see this every single year, aren't we? Juventus, 93 points. One loss all year. Inter, Roma, Napoli. Yeah, both top teams with the old logo. I mean, the, the Russian Premier League was also there. Why? Why do we have the Russian Premier League just back? It's such a funny league. It's such an amazing league. Why just going to war with a different country and raping the kids of that country considered as bad? Let them in again. Oh! Okay! Real Madrid won the league, okay. But Valencia in second! Anyone that watched the FIFA 19 video, Valencia was arguably the next in line to be Spanish champions, apart from the usual three, Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid. There's a chance, people. Usual suspect, Real Madrid win the Champions League against Bayern. But they did it back-to-back because -back they won in 2014 as well. Interesting case to see teams like the 2015 Roma, the 2015 Benfica, and fucking Demba Bar's Besiktas in the quarterfinals. Entertaining as shit, I won't lie. And you know, CSK Mo go against Manchester City and the time where Schalke were actually a competent Bundesliga team that would fight for European spots instead of being the shadow and corpse of what it is today. What the fuck? No, 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 I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to say what, what's happening in my face right now. Everton are 2015 Europa League winners. <laughs>
<laughs> on the competition that featured Atletico Madrid, Napoli, and Real Sociedad, and Ajax, and Lille, and Tottenham. It's Everton who are the best. That's me trying to perceive reality as if something that I don't want to happen. Everton are going to be playing Champions League football next season. What the fuck? Uh, it's July 2015, transfer deadline day. Uh -huh. I didn't think Liverpool were ambitious like that. I actually got Real Madrid's best midfielder of the 21st century in their own grasp. And then Arsenal waste 39 million on a very talented but weirdly inconsistent Jean Martinho from Monaco. And then Cav Cavani to Political Madrid. So clearly Griezmann hasn't been doing well at all. Fans concerned over fuck wives. I'd say Midgetland. No, not Midgetland. Midgetland. Midget but I just, I just got the best idea. It's now Midgetland. Yeah, see, Modric would fit in quite well. Should get Midgetland, and then we're gonna sign every single player under the five-seven. Under five-seven, there should be. Is there right. even a goalkeeper under five-seven? This should be. Nah, nah, we're, we're going shopping. Yes, we have three. No, they're not under one seventy, but they're. That's are the minimum. <laughs> That's the minimum for a goalkeeper. Forty-one years old from Pachuca, Oscar Perez. Listen, because he's nineteen and five-seven as a goalkeeper. Mohamed Al Alam Al Alamran. He's pretty shit. He only has balance. <laughs> <laughs> Which means he, he he's he not a goalkeeper, balance. but he he can stand pretty well. He won't dive to the ball. He won't handle the ball. He won't kick the ball. He's not gonna position himself well, and he's not gonna save shit because of his reflexes. And somehow he, <laughs> his jumping is his second best stat. But considering he is indeed. 170 centimeters tall and 5'7". Even if he jumps, he's not catching that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Doing something right because they just sold Balotelli to Inter Milan. And surprisingly, nah, they didn't make a profit because I think they bought them for more than 20 million. Uh, Jonas Okore going to going to Borussia Mönchengladbach from whatever the fuck that place is. Mauro got to fucking huge potential he had in FIFA 15 going to Barcelona. So now they have Gotze, Neymar, Suarez, who is in talks with Bayern because of Aguero, Aguero himself, and Messi. Yeah. How, how they didn't win the Champions League? H how? Remember the days that regions didn't look human at all, they just had the AI face and absolutely no lighting. They just look like they're cooked. By the way, Gotze has a potential of about 94 in this game. Bayern get the revenge of Manchester United for 1999 and win the Champions League. I'm guessing in Milan. Yeah, it was in Milan. Yeah, and teams like Marseille, Galatasaray, Feyenoord, Zenit. Okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. There's so many things wrong. There, there, okay, okay. There's so many fucking things wrong. Of what I'm seeing with my eyes. I'm gonna burst. I, I'm, I'm, go I'm gonna come. Uh, do you want me to point the first thing that's wrong, John? Spurs won a trophy. John, Swansea are there. Bro, you need to give up on the Swansea. Denied. Spurs win against Lille, the other year's finalist. Then they beat Liverpool 4 1, and then they beat Villarreal, and win against Benfica in the final to lift an European trophy. Not, not just a trophy, okay. a European trophy. Yeah, you want to. You want to tell me that on a group with Traps and Sport and Sporting Lisbon, Swansea went through. Super season without doing absolutely nothing. You don't sign nobody. You don't sell nobody. You just get to the city and say, just... Just play. Chelsea win with 89 points. A lot easier for them than it was last time round. Manchester City in second. Spurs third and Arsenal fourth. Liverpool still out of the top four. Like they were on most seasons at that time. United are Simon sixth. Even though they just reached the Champions League final. Everton repeat it. They get seventh again. Newcastle get eighth again. QPR eleventh. Norwich newly promoted third. No, fourteenth. Why the fuck did I say third? Yeah, it was Wolford that got promoted. And West Ham, West Brom and Cardiff are all down. Sunderland and Leicester straight back up. Yeah, this is going to be a whole lot of boring. All the same club's going to come back and I'm going to be fucking bored. Because Burnley's competition is Derby County. Are terrifyingly shit Wolves. Not the Wolves we know today. And Reading. Actual Reading. Dortmund do it again. With the same amount of points they did it last time, and so did Bayern getting second, and Schalke, you know, before Schalke ran out of money and had to sell their clothes and bodies in prostitution to afford something. And Wolfsburg, I I'm guessing Kevin De Bruyne, Kevin De Bruyne's Wol Wolfsburg at fourth. Yes! 90 points, AC Milan! And then Roma second and Juventus, fuck off in third. Valencia, why did you set me off a disappointment? 11 points behind Real Madrid, who had the same players that they had since the start of this career mode. Barcelona signed Aguero, Barcelona signed the player with the highest potential in the game and still conspire third for a second season running. Okay oh shit, so the quarterfinals of the Euros are already out. Greece and Slovenia made the cut. Greece 
and fucking is Slovenia made the best eight nations in the world. I mean, for, for, for whatever happens, I just don't want England to win. Yeah, good. Uh, Greece and Slovenia didn't go anywhere. England got knocked out by Spain and France won the whole thing. 16-17 season. Barcelona signed another player for big amount. I mean... Not big amount of cash, it's Kurt Zuma, the cat abuser. So you want to tell me that the best, the, the biggest transfer in, on the summer transfer window in 2016 was Callejon, Jose Callejon, to Valencia for 22 million pounds. 16, 17 season, nothing. It actually gave us nothing. The biggest transfer of the January transfer window was 20 million quid for Fernando Muslera. And the, the third highest, the third highest transfer of this window was someone by the name of Kamil Janic from PSV to Borussia Dortmund for only 1.9 million. I think even our transfer budget as Midtjylland is more than that. One of the transfers featured is a loan for some random region from Nuremberg called Rosenvolk. A bold teenager called Rosenvolk. A club that I can only guess is out of Hitler's way to come back to the world. City win their second Premier League of the whole experiment. Manchester United in second. I'm surprised they still actually have title races by this point. Chelsea third. Arsenal, if I'm not wrong, claiming for the third season in a row. Fourth. And it's not Liverpool. Everton claim fifth now. Relegating Liverpool to being the second best club in Liverpool. John, your club is shit. Your club signs Modric and they still manage to finish behind Everton. Watford, Wolves and Leicester all go down. QPR still somehow surviving every single bit of shit thrown at them. I put world class in every position. Why are they giving me randoms like Ruben Pardo and Fernando Pacheco? Talent is subjective, don't you think? So the game honestly thinks that Fabian Delph is world class. 35 year old Brad Jones is woke up. Oh my god, he's 83. How the fuck is he 83? Who the fuck is Brad Jones? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm going to Google. Not even so FIFA. I'm going to Google. Ade Benitez. He actually exists, by the way. Yeah, he did play for Esp... Nah. Nah, he didn't even play for Espanol. He was in Espanol's B team. He's without a club since 2020. 11 goals in his entire career. And someone that doesn't have a face on transfer market. Which is difficult as shit to do. Tell me how the fuck is he getting paid £160,000 a week for Espanol. And is 85 rated. Jackson Martinez going to Borussia Dortmund. That's a big transfer. Why was it in? The, why was it a feature then? Am I looking at this right, John? Please <laughs> tell me I'm not fainting or I'm not dreaming. That is something I would not believe happening. That was the time that Griezmann was getting to the final of the Euros. This on this reality, he won the Euros with France. What overall is he? He's at Everton. Antoine Griezmann is at Everton. I hate you. I hate you. I love you though. You're my baby boy. Anyone that watches the career mode videos would understand. Mate, Pet Check, Yaya Torre, Nani, MA United, Roberto Soldado. All of these are throwbacks. Farfan, Carlos Barker, holy shit. No, 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 no. San Delaney from, I, I'm guessing Copenhagen, Thomas Delaney. Still have Seamus Coleman. Obviously, they've got. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> They didn't sign Isco. N not, 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 not the peak Real Madrid Isco. They did. They didn't sign Isco. They didn't sign Isco. That that didn't happen. That that, that never happened. John, John, did it, that happen? Bayern finally win the Bundesliga. So, so it's one to them, two for Dortmund, and Dortmund finished second, of course. AC Milan win back to back Serie A's now with 81 points, a lot lower. Inter Milan in second. Juventus still in third, and Napoli in fourth. Barcelona finally do something and manage to win a trophy this time in La Liga with 94 points. Valencia, by the way, in third on level. On point to Real Madrid. I'm not believing you anymore. You deluded me so many times for so many seasons for 19 that I deny any any time in my life having beliefs in you. Bayern went back to back uh, Champions League. The San PSG feature in the final. Then it make the quarterfinals of the Champions League. I miss in it. I miss the Hawks in it. I miss. I, miss, I, I still miss Russian teams. Why are they not added? <laughs> August 2017 deadline day, and I think. We hit a financial crisis like no other since 1929. No big club has any big money that they're willing to chuck on anyone forever. The biggest transfer of the summer of 2017, when in reality was Neymar to PSG for 200 million. On FIFA 15, it was Russian nobody by the name of Mamave. Mamave. 
to Burnley. Meanwhile, Almeria, from the bottom pits of Spain's second tier, have a 33-year-old goalkeeper called Ruben. He's 88 rated. He was the same rating at that time frame as Buffon and Manuel fucking Neuer. Listen, I wish there was an algorithm that could explain every single bit of useless coming out of this of this game Brian Murphy 34 year old goalkeeper from QPR that no one knows 84 rated and I thought nothing could get more broken than the FIFA 19 Oldham that was signing every single youth academy protege nah Matty Stamen uh, I don't know any of these people and yet they have overalls of fucking giants in football Danny Alves winds up in Manchester United and the game doesn't tell us shit Roman Weidenfeller is 87 at 37 years old. I, 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 I am done. Finally, two chances we can actually talk about that you would know who they are. Paolo Dybala finally leaving Palermo in 2018 to Sevilla for 20 million quid. And also, you know, Cenk Tosun, that piece of Everton fluff going from basic test to athletic Bilbao. So one that I mainly found and I realized that how the game hides these transfers for me is that most teams are signing pre-contract signings with these players that are running out of contracts. So for example, at 85 rated Giovanni Dos Santos, when he wouldn't reach this rating at all in any context of football, he's leaving Villarreal for Sevilla when the season ends. So in summer 18, would I say fourth? Yeah, fourth league title in about five years. 86 points, Spurs with 83, still without a title, still without a league title, best of virgins. Arsenal third, finally varying from the fourth, and Manchester United now claiming fourth spot in Liverpool having never, and I repeat never, clinched the top four so far in this ex experiment. Everton, even with Griezmann and Pogba, now slipped to eighth. Some things never change with underachieving for Everton Football Club. Bargate to R, Hull City, Middlesbrough, and Crystal Palace. By Sam and Watford come back, Derby County still trying to relive the past and think they're worthy of the Premier League. They're going to the playoffs, but we all know they're not going to get promoted for shit. Bayern Mothers League of Champions, yeah. Yeah. Shriek of Juventus non not winning the title continues because Inter Milan clinched it on goal difference with 91 points. Rome in third and AC Milan in fourth. Barcelona finally did it with Guts and Aguero. They made La Liga champions on goal difference Real Madrid but with better goal difference. Athletic Madrid third and Valencia. I won't put much pressure on you. I don't believe in you anymore. Moments like these that make me really question how does the algorithm function with high potential for players that even back then we would know they wouldn't do shit in football okay 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 <laughs> <laughs> FIFA 15, I, I think I love you. I think I'm in love with you. Benfica, <laughs> knockout by Munich on penalties, Atletico Madrid, Valencia in the semis, and win against Borussia Dortmund to win the Champions League. To win the Champions League on penalties on a 3-0 draw. Meanwhile, the Europa League final looks like the Champions League final in reverse because Liverpool beat Juventus on penalties. And I think for the first time in this whole experiment, they qualify for the Champions League via winning the Europa League. Alright, Benfica, let's see how you're stabling yourself as European champions. Future. Liverpool manager should assume Ruben Amorin, former homeless man Bebe, Jean Cancelo with no scouting, meaning he doesn't have the rating and he's not playing, and his contract's about to expire, meaning he's going to be out of a job. No one here, I mean, some familiar face, but no one here to actually write about. Finally found someone whose contract is also expiring, which is Nicolas Gaetan at 85 rated, Young Gonzalo Guedes, Diego Jardel, Jonas, 85 rated Julio Cesar, would by this time he would have already retired as well. Now, I'm failing to make a useful case of how they became European champions. They don't have anyone to write. I mean, Anderson Tagliska, 83 rated. Uh, big, big deal. He did achieve that rating in the Chinese Super League. Yeah, people, how did Benfica win the Champions League? Until 2018, they finally sacked me. They finally sacked me, Midtjylland. Just like Copenhagen. You're dead to me. Hello, everyone. I am Penelope Penis, and I was hired by the three twats on minimum wage to narrate the 2018 World Cup. South Africa made the round of 16, but just like in Africa in the 20th century, they could not contain the European troops of Germany. The Czech Republic also made it, but Messi scored about 25 penalties to knock them out. Brazil saw Germany and immediately shat their pants due to PTSD. In the end, the final was a repeat of World War II D-Day, where the French met the Germans without star player and deadly centre-forward Adolf Hitler and managed to send them packing to Berlin thanks to an amazing performance from Hugo Lloris in net, granting them their second World Cup title, just like what happened in real life. Thank you Lucas from the Three Twats for hiring me so now I can feed my 67 mixed-race children and carry on enjoying the video. <laughs> On August 2018, Jonas Accorde, uh, going from Mönchengladbach to Arsenal to strengthen their title bids. I mean, Arsenal not gonna 
come even close to the title, are they? Everton get active again because somehow they got their grip in Anthony Lopez, the Leon goalkeeper. He's going to AC Milan for 14 million quid. Unless this is the NBA player Dwight Howard in disguise. And I'm sorry to imitate an owl, no, owl noises. <laughs> and it doesn't matter apparently how old Robin Percy gets. He will still be a man United and he'll still be a star because he's 88 rated still. Is there any reason for me to cover the this January transfer window? Because this was about as irrelevant as the actual transfer window in the winter of 2019. Chelsea finally break the duck. 96 points and at the time a record points total to win the league with 30 wins. Manchester United second, Man City fourth, third and Liverpool fourth. Finally Liverpool cr cracking the top four. Everton still to be waiting because they're fifth and Arsenal sixth and Tottenham seventh. I don't know how QPR are still surviving. This is a fucking miracle in the making. Burnley, Watford and Leicester all down. Bayern win 92 points and undefeated. Oh my fucking god. Roma! Syria champions. Hasn't happened since 2001. They finally did it with 87 points. You've entered second into third and you Udinese fourth. Romaja clear things up in La Liga, Barcelona second, I think Madrid third and uh, and I told you it doesn't matter that you gathered uh, 81 points. I'm done with you Valencia. I ain't believing in you. All that is more realistic than ever. Real Madrid versus Man City. Real Madrid clinch it and another European Cup. I think is their 13th. And Chelsea somehow get relegated to the Europa League alongside teams like Lokomo Lokomotiv and Spartak Moscow but they get to the final against Juventus and what they did they won it. John, what am I thinking right now? Probably something a normal person wouldn't think. You're right. But also, I'm looking at this image thinking Udinese's Vidra linked to Real Madrid. Uh, for those that don't know, and for, that's most of you, Mate Vidra is a Czech Republic striker. It is pretty much known to be championship standard. And when he comes to the Premier League, he's about as comfortable as a koala with AIDS. He's linked with Real Madrid. I cannot understand the article. And then I see the option view player. He's 94 rated. Don't worry, I'll feature all the Ballon d'Or winners at the end of the video because I forgot to mention a lot of them. Don't be surprised to see Matteo Vidra's name in that list. Summer 19 actually provided us with entertaining transfers for once for the first time in two years. Milan and Pjanic heads to Man City for 56 million from Roma. Summer from Borussia Mönchengladbach to Borussia Dortmund. And for the first time seen on the top deals, a Regen Youth Academy player, Carrasco, that I probably featured on the video, but I had to leave it out because the video is already getting too long. Going to Barcelona, the place he actually originally to PSG. 83 rated at 23. John, I think you're you you're forgetting one thing, like, is the thing that you do, like, is the thing you're known about. Oh, the 5-5 five five, then. Yeah, the Premier League top six won't be taken over in, in any reality, I'd say. It's too much money. Chelsea win again. 84 points. Manchester United second, Arsenal third, and Man City fourth. And even the Pogba Griezmann, Isco Everton continue to underachieve. West Ham, West Brom and Hull City, usually the same suspects all go down. I think for the first time in about four videos, I'm gonna stop covering the Bundesliga until we actually see a different winner. The same would go for Italy if there wasn't the Inter Milan's, Roma's and AC Milan's managing to win. And despite having the best striker in the world, Udinese lack defence. Barcelona do it again with the squad that they're supposed to be doing. Atletico Madrid second, Real Madrid third and Valencia fourth. I think I'm just gonna be covering the Premier League from now on because the same three will be winning this every single time. Is there any way I can boost Valencia's chances of winning? I can just get into the game's code and manage to get Valencia's team all 99 potential. Bayern get Barcelona in the Champions League final and they win, I think, their third Champions League of this experiment. For the second time in this video, Spurs win the Europa League. Babs and Spore getting far. For the second time, Liverpool get knocked out by one of the champions. And for the second time, Swansea. Uh, Swansea. Swansea. I'll just, I'm gonna just break my head a bit. Hang on. Oh, Blackpool win the j Pen Trophy because you care a lot about what happens in the j Pen Trophy. Yeah, I mean, you can just do it on your computer. What's up, my black people? I am new channel manager White Steve. Unfortunately, Penelope got hit by lightning three times and died when the ambulance got eaten by a flying dinosaur monster thing. So Euro 2020 hit us, and because Lucas is stupid and didn't give me the screenshot of the tournament, I have to describe what happened. Germany and France, the last World Cup finalists, got knocked out in the round of 16 by Spain and Portugal respectively, whilst Belgium sexually assaulted Turkey 6-0. But then Belgium themselves get their bumhole penetrated by England 3-0, as England went to the final, they faced Spain, and thanks to that random Almeria idiot Ruben and Alvaro Morata, they beat England to win their third Euros in four tournaments. I am Tanisha Brown, White Steve's mom. Please release him from the slate house, or we will go on strike babes. Don't play with me honey.
Yeah, can someone tell me why the fuck this random cob that I still don't know where it is from has first off Okore, that Danish centre back, and now Hulk. John, help me. He know, help me. Since Hulk went there, what is that club? I can only assume they have some money. Alphone Town. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite club. Don't tell me it's Ireland. It actually is. This Minnow Irish club had Hulk and Okore. Okay, I think we. We're gonna take a break. We're definitely gonna take a break. A repeat of 2020. Chelsea are Premier League champions with 86 points again. Man City second, Arsenal third, and Liverpool finally, finally cracked the top four. Relegated Burnley, Fulham, and Watford. The less said about the Bundesliga champion, the better. The less said about the Serie A champion, the better. Clearing up some shit, despite of Outland Town having every single good player that they could have for the Irish League standards, they still don't win it. Oh, because we're in England, we can actually foresee the domestic cups that a lot more people care about compared to other cups. So, Liverpool, away for it. They win the FA Cup. Aston Villa beat Man City on penalties. I haven't checked their starting 11, but at this point, I've saw, I saw that their striker is about, what, 87 rated? A random Irishman that you never heard about called Graham Burke. Real Madrid get their third Champions League, this time defeating Dortmund. Leon beat Sevilla on penalties to win the Europa League. So even with Spurs' European success, it seems that Harry Kane did even manage to enjoy it because he's been at Man United since 2014. We haven't seen Man United lift anything so far they might have lifted an fa cup or league cup they lost the champions league final didn't really did anything on europe after that they haven't won a single league title the whole of this time he went to different club and then tottenham started winning things Mario Cardi follows in suit to go to Tottenham and still steal Eric Dyer's girlfriend. <laughs> Mustafi's actually decent in this game. 92 interceptions and 88 stand tackle. Just ask Arsenal fans if those numbers are actually true. Chelsea! Three times Chelsea! 90 points. Liverpool's still yet to be behind because they, they can't win the league for shit. It is really like real life. And finally, a team outside the top six cracks the top six. Aston Villa, thank you. Everton for the fourth season in a row. Eighth. Do so get relegated. Go buy a fucking prostitute. Do something. Yes! Swansea are down! Cardiff go with them. Cardiff goes with them to the murky abyss that is the championship. I finally get to cover the championship again because something new has happened. Oh boy, something new did happen. Watford won the championship. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Bolton are finally back. I said about you the better, as always. Juventus, finally outside the top four. Heading to the Europa League. Inter win Serie A, Roma second, AC Milan third, and an underachieving Lazio fourth. Reach a stage that even Blackburn manages to get to FA Cup finals. On the battle for Champions League success for the first time in their history, Atletico Madrid come victorious. They beat PSG 2-1 in the final. What a fucking season. And yet Griezmann's not even there to enjoy it. He's too busy slumping mid-table with Everton. Kane finally won something. He won the Europa League. The duck is over. He beat Sporting in the final. White Steve back. And I am needing help. I want my mommy and the slave master to stop tickling my cock. World Cup 2022. I am not going to waste your time. Czech Republic won it because of Petr Cech in goal and Matej Vydra scoring on every match. I now pass the message to the viewer, I am locked up in a slave house being forced to do things no person should do, save me this is my only problem. Oh, Chelsea! Uh, the, wow! Oh wow! So let me get this straight, Chelsea Liverpool, Manchester United, Arsenal Man City, on a gap of two points. Two points separating the top five teams. Oh my god! Imagine the final day with five teams separated for the title and even having the chance of one of them being left behind for the Champions League. In this case, Manchester City says goodbye to that competition and into the Europa League they go. Chelsea are the ones lifting the league with Liverpool second, Manchester United third and Arsenal fourth. Norwich, Burnley, Watford all down. Alright, I'll cover France because PSG just went unbeaten and got 102 points. How entertaining! I'm guessing you're very entertained right now. Wolfsburg, again, Bundesliga champions. Leverkusen second, Bayern Munich third, and Schalke fourth. This just shows how Schalke would have been in this today, in today's day and age, if they, you know, had decent accountants. Inter wins the last Serie A, Roma second, Fiorentina third, and Juventus fourth. Even if it is the last league, Liga BBVA, La Liga that we show, I don't want to be talking about this. It's the same outcome. Yay! Oh, 
if you got knocked down to the semi-finals. <sighs> Chelsea get to the final with Bayern Munich. And a repeat of 2012, they get the best of them on penalties. And Man United also covering more Europa League ground. They win the Europa League again, this time against Atletico Madrid. At last, as the three twats janitor Jelson Mandela, I will be covering happily and alive the Ballon d'Or winners of the nine seasons we did. 2015 was Ronaldo. 2016 was Neuer. 2017 was Messi. 2018 was Loris. 2019 was Neymar and from 2020 to 2024, the title of best player in this fucking floating rock we call home was the Frankenstein himself Mate Vidra. Shout out for my dad and my dog for having animal sex, they sponsor my existence, and subscribe to the 3 Twats channel you undesirable disgusting hot as fuck big bunda baddie. <laughs>